Hey everybody, this segment is on grading criteria sets. So in our last segment, we created a feature line uh, that we're gonna use as the footprint of our building pad. So before we can actually start some grading, we're gonna need to take a look at how we're gonna grade this site. So for instance, uh, I might want a flat, uh, even surface along the top. I may want uh, my footprint to grade outwards toward the existing ground surface. I should first probably check to see what kind of grading criteria are available to me. So if you go over to the settings section, uh, you'll find there's a grading heading there. And if you expand that out, you can go ahead and select the grading criteria sets. So grading criteria sets are just a group of different ways in which to grade your objects. So there's one default here, which probably should do the work for most of your grading needs. It's called the basic set. And if you expand that open, there is a uh, number of different types of ways to grade your objects, depending on your uh, needs. So if we take a look at one, for instance, um, and also keep in mind that if you want to create your own grade, grading criteria sets or your own grading criteria, you can go ahead and add those in and uh, create any new ones you want. But let's take a look at uh, one of these grading criteria just by double clicking on it brings up our little box. So there's a number of different settings here uh, that you'll want to take a look at. The first one, most importantly, probably is the target. So if we take a look, it says distance here. And if we click the help, it'll give us some diagrams on ways in which we can grade. So there's a number of ways in which you uh, Civil 3D allows you to grade uh, to what are different types of targets. For instance, the first one uh, we can grade down to a surface. So if we have a footprint here, we can grade uh, up or down to a uh, foot or sorry, an existing ground surface. We can also grade to a absolute elevation. So if we know we want to grade to an elevation uh, at a certain level above sea level, we can input that. There's also a relative elevation which will allow us to grade uh, either above or below below a footprint elevation. Okay, so it's a little bit different than uh, elevation because this one grades to mean sea level. This one will grade to an elevation above or below your footprint. Okay, and also the last one here is distance. So we can grade to a horizontal distance here uh, and it'll ask us for a slope and then it'll have some other additional parameters that we can fill in. So you'll notice here we've got uh, a grading method. It's called uh, grade to distance. So it'll ask us for a horizontal distance. Uh, in this case, it'll grade out horizontally at one meter and uh, it'll slope down to a two to one slope until it uh, is done uh, using those two parameters there. Okay, and uh, there's other uh, types of grading uh, objects here too, or grading criteria in which you can uh, target an existing surface with uh, different cut and fill slopes, etc., etc. So feel free to add those or edit those, but you can leave these at the defaults, whatever they are there. And when you actually get into the grading tools, you can make those changes accordingly. And uh, keep that in mind. That's about it for grading criteria sets. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye now.